I bet you thought your video was frozen in, didn't you? <laughs> hey guys, this is Dan from Mr. Grace Gaming, and I'm here with a quick... This is an ongoing review of Resident Evil 7, because I want to talk about it. I bought it, I think it was three days after it came out. I saw a couple of clips, and I thought, I want to get that. And, you know, I want to explain why you haven't seen... I've, I think there's four videos up on my YouTube right now. But I think it's four or five, I can't remember. But I am putting another one up for a month, and there's a very good explanation, which I'm going to get to. So bear with me. <laughs> this is an ongoing review of Resident Evil 7, because I haven't finished it yet. I am going to finish it. I'm definitely going to go finish it, but there's a reason why I haven't finished it. <clears throat> the first few hours of the game... You know, when you first, you come to the, man, uh, the um, what are they call the Baker family's house, mansion, uh, no, what is it called? No, mansion, or the plantation, is it an ex-plantation or something like that? I can't remember. But yeah, you know, you go through the forest and you, you enter the house and then you see, you see your missus or your wife, your ex-wife or girlfriend or something. And you know, something's wrong, something's wrong. And she's, they all, all of a sudden, she goes missing. And it t for me, it turned into Texas Chainsaw Massacre slash The Evil Dead. The Evil Dead, you know, my favorite films. One of one of my favorite set films of all time. I love Evil Dead, but and that's where it sort of went to with your your wife. And then obviously you had Jack Baker come along. But uh, by the way, there are going to be some spoilers, just so you know. But then uh, Jack Baker came along. And, you know, he he ruined my shit. <laughs> but what I'm trying to get at is that the game was good. The game, it, it, it's got really interesting characters. It's got a fairly good story, which I'll get to that now. But the first few hours, I'm seven hours into that game. And I've, I've where am I? I've just, I've just met, um, what's her name? The daughter. The daughter, no, not the daughter, yeah. Oh shit, I can't remember though. No, I think it's just after I, I've just beat the mother. Right up until then, I've been enjoying it. I've been, well, f before then, sorry, like about, um, like I said, I'm seven hours in. About, I was enjoying it up until about, say, four hours, about five hours. And now I've got bored. I've got so bored of that game, which is a shame. Because it, it has such good potential. It's, you know, for a Resident Evil game, it changed. It, it obviously changed from a third person fixed perspective to a first person, um, you know, in your face horror, which I like. I, I love games like Outlast. I like Alien Isolation. Um, uh, you know, other first person horror games. I got no problem with first person horror games. In fact, I always think I'm more immersed in first person horror games than I am in third person. Although third person are really good horror games as well. But the first few hours of the game, it gripped me. It scared the shit out of me. And I, I was loving every second of it. it. You know, it was the point where I didn't want to go around that corner. Because I could hear them in the distance, like Jack or the mother or whatever, and I, oh, fuck. It, it was like a sense of dread, which I love, not love, but you know, it's the adrenaline boost you get from those kind of games. But um, I got to a point now where it's it's gone from a horror game to a, a bloody action shooter. You know, I got, oh my god, I got um, flamethrower. I got a shotgun, a hat, you know, it's, it's become, it's come to the point where the horror's gone. As, as all it's become now is a generic shooter. Because the, the main enemies in the game is those black bloody goop monsters. Which, there's been a few times if you watch those videos, they, they have made me jump, but only because they've startled me. But like, you're shooting them and they're like bullet sponges. There is no substance to those enemies whatsoever, and I've lost interest in the game. Which is a bloody shame. Because <laughs> I really wanted to love this game. And like I said, the first few hours, I did love this game. 
but I, and I bought it, like I said, a few days after he came out on Steam. I think I paid 40 odd quid for it. And I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm annoyed that it hasn't kept my attention. It's because it's like the first half, uh, first quarter of the game, brilliant. The rest is boring. It's bored the shit out of me, you know, and I'm struggling. Like, there's about, probably about, um, it's probably at least about two hours of footage I've already recorded, you know, for my YouTube channel of that video since Beating the Mother, where I, I don't know what to do with it. I just don't know what to do with it because. I'm looking bored. <laughs> the game is boring. I, I've I don't know what to do with it. I think uh, the rest of that game is just gonna turn into a three-minute montage on my channel. I don't know, because I honestly don't know what to do with that footage. Like I said, two hours of footage, and, and this is 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 annoying. <laughs> and it's annoyed me because, like I said, I want to love this game. I love the Resident Evil franchise, except for six. Don't get me started on six. Worst game ever. But yeah, so did any has anyone like I said, I, I haven't completed it, but because I got bored, I started watching other people play it. And I've seen the ending. <laughs> I don't usually do that with games. I usually I usually avoid spoilers. I usually avoid everything, but because I was so I was so how can I say it? Um exhausted of boredom you know bo bo boredom got the better of me in that game i thought right i'm gonna see if it gets any better so i watched um i watched rooster teeth play it <coughs> you know achievement hunter and from what i can tell it doesn't get any better the horror element is gone from where i am though i think that's as horror as it's gonna get so yeah, I've I've seen the ending. I've watched the it's, and I think that's killed it for me, unfortunately. So you might not get any more videos of that on my channel. God, look at that! Look at that fucking beard there. I need a trim. So I just want to. It's my quick. Like I said, I am finished it. And but I've seen the ending, and it's a shame because I was enjoying it, but it's boring. Oh, it's boring. As any of you lot who, you know, follow my channel, has any of you lot finished that game and did you enjoy it? Because I think it just turned into a generic shooter near, near where I am now. And it's, I'm, I'm, I'm really annoyed because, like I said, I paid money for that. And I was enjoying it. It's, it's almost like the first half of the game is made by someone else. The second half is made by Call of Duty developers. That's what it's like. So anyway, it's a quick rambling uh, review of Resident Evil 7. Maybe I will complete it, but right now I just don't want to play it because it's boring me. And it's a shame. Anyway, <laughs> uh, feel free to leave a comment. Don't be too harsh on me because I haven't completed it. But uh, yeah, if, if you've completed it, let me know what you th your thoughts on it. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did, did you, do you have the same feeling as me? But um, yeah, that's my quick, I suppose it's an ongoing review of Resident Evil 7. If only I could refund it. <laughs> if it had ended, after you killed the mother, brilliant game. Anything else, get rid of it. Anyway, I'm going. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.